Please performance test the new patch that released today ran poorly in the beginning on a 3080, but the patch on the 13th did help stability and seems to run better. The newest patch made the game run a tad bit better. After the newest patch today for Borderlands 4, I feel like the optimization and gameplay feels a little smoother now. These are referring to the uh, patch that came out September 13th, right after I did my 5070 Ti versus 9070 XT video. Uh, this also has some interesting optimization guides, which I've done a video with some uh, thoughts about that. Anyway, now this patch actually interestingly does not claim to increase performance. It doesn't claim to be a you know performance optimization patch. It does say, uh, that it should improve stability for a right, wide range of PCs. So perhaps trying to deal with like uh, bugs for crashing and things like that. And so these claims about the performance getting better. Now, one issue is that there, there can be um, a lot of placebo effect when it comes to PC gaming. It's, it's uh, very much a noticeable thing when people talk about their performance that they're getting in games, especially when they try out a little like optimization tricks and things like that. And I'm not trying to say that in a way that like uh, um, is uh, a slight against anybody who feels like you tried some like uh, weird optimization tweak you saw in a forum and it does seem like performance gets better. This is just a common logical fallacy. Sometimes there's this like after this, therefore because of this, uh, fallacy, where maybe you're feeling like performance is better, or maybe it actually is better, but was it actually caused by the uh, the patch? So um, sometimes I think what happens is people have tested out uh, a game, you've been playing it, and then you do some sort of fix, or there's a patch, and then you keep playing, and performance might be a little bit better, but it's possible that you're playing a different section of the game that does actually perform a little bit better. Or, um, as often happens in Unreal Engine games specifically, um, some of the performance issues are shader compilation related, and so sometimes if you just played the game longer, the shaders have uh, compiled more, so you get fewer stutters than you did at the beginning. Anyway, so I found it uh, uh, probably worthwhile to actually test out this September 13th patch and see if I could measure any performance differences in actual apples to apples gameplay scenarios. And that's what we're doing here. I'm doing uh, the 5070 Ti. Nothing else has changed in the system other than uh, this patch. And so we can now measure, is there any performance or visual differences that we can notice? Now, I'll go ahead and play the footage. I've tested this out on all of the same graphic settings and resolution settings that I did in the uh, you know, AMD versus NVIDIA 9070XT versus 5070Ti video. Uh, but here we're just looking at the 5070Ti and we can see that there is zero performance difference in the average frame rate or the 1% lows. Um, on 4K max settings that's still 23 FPS average and 20 in the 1% lows. By the way, if you go back here, do you notice the uh, textures are not loading properly on the ground? That's another thing to mention um, that I did mention in that you know, AMD versus NVIDIA video um, was an issue I noticed and I'm still noticing that issue in uh, this current patch. So I thought I'd note that that is not being fixed. Other visual things that I didn't like with the uh, original game, like if you look at the fan behind us right now, um, do you notice that there's both st uh, static shadows and not static shadows there for a bit, and then the static shadows kind of disappear after a second? Kind of looks weird. Anyway, that kind of behavior is still happening. Um, now, I tried kicking on DLSS performance mode to see if you know that revealed any changes, because honestly, I was uh, if performance had gotten a lot better, I was going to look into did they change the actual resolution rendering settings, um, you know, without telling people, because I've seen that in games like um, uh, Wu Chong Fallen Feathers, where that actually was the case. They improved performance by lowering the resolution without telling you. Anyway, not seeing that here at DLSS performance modes at 4K max settings, it's 53 FPS and 45 FPS in the 1% lows. Uh, so I also tried out other graphics presets. So I tried dropping to the high preset, which is actually the middle graphics preset. It goes low, medium, high. I think it's the very high and then badass. And then here we're getting at the high settings, 35. Uh, 
for averages 30 versus 31 in the 1% lows, which I would say is, you know, margin of error, run to run variance rather than any, oh, look, yay, performance improved between the, the patch versions. So um, not a lot to speak of there. At high settings 4K output with DLSS performance mode, uh, here I'm seeing the patched version have 74 FPS versus 73 prior to that, which is, you know, one point something percent performance increase. However, in the 1% lows, I'm actually seeing a regression of 58 FPS versus 60. So it does not seem like it has improved the 1% lows. Again, both differences are really just run to run variants uh, rather than anything meaningful. And so, uh, yeah, I would say that it's, it's effectively identical performance. I tried out 1440p maximum settings, and here we're seeing uh, even performance, 41 versus 41 on the averages. And now the patch version has a 1 FPS advantage in the 1% lows, 35 versus 34. So once again, I would just call this um, a margin of error, you know, type of, you know, run to run variance. Uh, between runs, that kind of thing, rather than any actual meaningful performance difference. Um, now, so I did again try out with upscaling. This is DLSS balanced. And here I'm seeing uh, 73 FPS versus 72 in the averages, 1% advantage for the new patch version, 43 FPS versus 42 in the 1% lows, 2% advantage for the patched version. Again, such small differences that it is much more likely to just be run to run variants rather than any meaningful difference in the patch. Now, I'm not saying that this patch didn't do anything. I'm just saying it does not seem to be a meaningful performance patch. Uh, I think that, um, you know, they said it targeted stability, and that certainly seems to be more likely to be the case. Again, 1440p high settings, um, they're tied in the averages at 61, and now the patched version actually has much worse 1% lows at 41 versus 48, only reaching 85% of the performance. Again, I don't think that means that the patch performs worse, I think it's just that this is stuttery. And uh, if the game happens to have uh, a particularly large stutter, uh, on this particular like 36 second benchmark run, then it brings down the 1% lows. And so I think that's what we're seeing here. It's kind of an unluckier uh, sort of run on the 1% lows situation on that particular run for the run to run variants. Uh, 1440p high settings DLSS balanced. We're seeing uh, one FPS advantage, 1% uh, for the patched version, but it loses by one FPS and 2% in the 1% lows. So again, just run to run variants. I don't think there's anything to uh, really write home about performance wise, other than that it's still a lot lower than I would like on a 5070 Ti based system running at the middle graphics preset with balanced mode upscaling uh, and having the 1% lows only around 60 doesn't look great. Uh, anyway, what about 1080p max settings? Well, guys, look, uh, the 5070 Ti is now good for 60 FPS average at native 1080p maximum settings uh, by increasing its frame rates by one from 59 to 60, 2% uh, averages. So, hey, there, we did it, guys. Uh, the 5070 Ti is finally a 60 FPS card in this game at native 1080p max settings. The 1% lows are 50 versus 47, so a more noticeable 6% increase there, but as I said repeatedly, I think that's more of just a run-to-run -run variance. Uh, notice that when we're back to um, 1080p, by the way, uh, ignore that it, I just noticed it still says FSR4 there. There was some copy and pasting of the uh, uh, captions between my AMD versus NVIDIA video, and it looks like I forgot to delete FSR4 off of this one. This is just DLSS quality on both 1080p max settings. Otherwise, we are seeing 87 FPS versus 84 in the averages and 67 versus three in the 1% lows. Hey, patch did everything. No, it was just that there were particularly bad sp a stutter on the um, pre-patched version. Again, on certain runs, you just get kind of an unlucky result there. And again, back to 1080p high settings at native 1080p, uh, 84 versus 82 on the patch, 2% increase. 1% uh, low is 63 versus 61. So yeah, it's two FPS improvement, 2% and 3%, um, you know, average versus 1% lows. But like I said, pretty sure it's uh, just kind of more to do with run to run variants than any kind of performance increase from the patch. Uh, and then I think the last thing that I tested out here was uh, high settings DLSS quality at 1080p. 
one FPS advantage, 113 versus 112, 1% in the averages for the patch version, but it loses in the 1% lows by 4% at 78 uh, versus 81. Again, uh, more likely to be run-to-run -run variants than anything else. So did the September 13th, depending on where you're at in the world, patch um, improve performance uh, or fix stutters. No, it seems like there were still sometimes stuttering worse on one than the other. Overall performance numbers averaged out to be um, imperceptibly different and more likely run-to-run -run variants. So if you've noticed your performance better after this patch, uh, my guess is that it would be more to do with you're just in a better area of the game, uh, or maybe there is, um, maybe you're, you've played longer and shader compilation has had more time to kind of level, uh, you know, level out some of the stutters. Uh, or, you know, maybe th your system had been experienced something related to whatever crashing issues that they might have fixed because they did say that this was targeting stability. And maybe I just wasn't seeing those stability issues in this area of the game on my particular test. Uh, the only other thing that, you know, could potentially could be going on is maybe... Um, uh, something more CPU related, because since I'm on a 9800X 3D here, I am te uh, more testing GPU related performance. So perhaps something CPU related improved, but I don't have any pre-patch uh, CPU, uh, CPU limited performance that would be easy to replicate here. Um, so I'm unable to test that idea. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys found the video useful and or interesting, and um, I am probably going to test out a little more in Borderlands 4, because I finally got a Strix Halo mini PC, which is a um, uh, the, the most powerful integrated graphics in the world, as far as I know. And I'm really curious uh, about doing an best integrative graphics versus worst optimized game video. So let me know if you're interested. <laughs> I hope all of you guys have an excellent day.